Hey guys, this is a walkthrough of the Daily Curation 2025 Planner. The Daily is an A5 day to a page option with a single page pre-week planner that appears before each Monday spread. The features at the beginning and at the back of your planner are identical to our other A5 planner options. However, it is a heavier option weighing in at 906 grams. So first thing you'll find is a little message from me and a this belongs to section. On the next spread, you'll see a QR code, which takes you to our how-to guide. Next, we have a feature overview, which is a new addition. So it gives you a quick summary of the different features and the primary use of each feature. Now for the first official feature, the self-care menu. This is space for you to reflect on your definition of self-care and the type of rituals that help you rest and recover, the activities that give you energy and the things that bring you comfort and joy. There are three prompts here to guide your reflection. I like to think of this space as a personal self-care directory or a self-care cheat sheet for your future self. Next, we have the bucket list, which has undergone a massive transformation. So we've replaced the list format with a more visual format. So think bucket list meets vision board. List all the fun things you want to do in 2025, all the experiences and adventures you want to embark on and the activities you want to try. Traditional bucket lists, they tend to be travel related. This one doesn't have to be. For example, in previous years, I've had things like learning how to surf, making photo books of our family holidays. It doesn't have to be anything big. The 2025 intention spread is space for you to journal your intentions, explore how you feel about the year ahead. There are prompts here to get you started. This spread is designed to hold those abstract, less tangible intentions that you might have, like improving your self-talk, improving your relationship with a particular family member. And the four boxes on the right here are for refining and categorizing your list of intentions so that when you flip back to this section, it's clear the areas you want to focus on are clear to you. The mission statement framework is a goal setting worksheet. So it's space for you to write down your long term goals and figure out a plan of action. It includes space for you to write down your why, which can be really powerful, especially when you're feeling that flicker of resistance or doubt creeping in. Um, It's great to reflect back on why you started. Another unique element in the goal setting framework is the journaling section. So we've included four journaling prompts to help you work through any fears that might be holding you back. There's also a progress bar for you to shade in and a section to set some milestones because as we know, it's not just about crossing the finish line, it's about celebrating your progress along the way. The habit curator and habit tracker are definitely the most loved features in curation. So this here is the framework for building new habits. It shows you step-by-step what you need to do, what you need to focus on, what you need to consider when building new habits. And there are eight worksheets in the original, mini and daily and 12 in the large. The yearly planner. Here we have yearly planners for 2025 and 2026. So it's perfect for big picture planning, mapping out deadlines or seeing important dates, events and birthdays at a glance. The 2026 planner is also ideal if your job requires you to work across two calendar years at a time or if you just need a spot to add important dates for the following year like weddings or holidays. The monthly planner gives you a bird's eye view of each month. It also starts on a Monday, which is consistent with the weekly spread. The monthly spreads are all grouped together at the beginning of curation for easy access. To the left of every Monday spread, you'll see a pre-week planner. Unlike the original and large layouts, this is a single page pre-week planner with four features seamlessly integrated. Firstly, we have a dot grid on the left, which is kind of like a built-in notepad. It is perfect for brainstorming and jotting down random notes. Next, we have the mission in progress prompt. This links back to the mission statement framework, which we spoke about earlier. It's like a weekly goal check-in. It is designed to keep your long-term goals top of mind by prompting you to think about what you can do each week to bring you closer to achieving your goals. If you're not pursuing any goals, then you can use this space to list your top priorities for the week. Next, we have the personal planner or tracker table, which is a multi-purpose space for planning or tracking important areas of your life each week. This has become one of the most loved features in curation because it's such a flexible feature. As you transition into different seasons and your priorities shift, you have the option to change what you plan and track. You might use it to plan your meals, workouts, or track your mood, or create a study schedule, or track your kids' activities. At the bottom of each pro planner, you will find a light bulb, which represents your cue. 
This is a series of weekly prompts and challenges that inspire self-care, reflection, and mindfulness. We've also included reflection prompts, reminders to use certain features of the planner that you may have forgotten about throughout the year, and creative ideas for how to make the most of your planner. Now for the daily spread. We've kept it quite minimal so that you can adapt this space to your own needs. There's space for notes and reminders in the top left corner. Next, we have the habit tracker for tracking the habits you're building. You can tick or color in the circle to represent that you've completed your habit. The table on the left is designed to hold your daily schedule. You can use the left column to note the time and the right column for the corresponding task, meeting, appointment, or event. The space can also be used for time blocking your entire day. I also want to highlight this heart symbol here, which represents a daily self-care planner. It is strategically positioned above your to-do list to remind you that you are worthy of your own time. This is designed to normalize daily self-care and to help you build the habit of checking in with yourself and filling up your cup in some way, whether that is with a workout, a stretch, a meditation, or time to journal. And if you feel stuck for ideas, lean on your self-care menu, choose an activity that you can commit to and schedule it in this space. Below the daily self-care planner, you'll find your top priorities checklist. Use the space to jot down your most important tasks for the day. Below that, you'll find a generous amount of space, 10 lines for your daily to-do list. In the bottom right corner, we've carved out space for daily gratitude. This journaling component is such a lovely ritual. It's a perfect way to wind down and reflect on your day. And at the end of each month, you'll find a link at the bottom of your daily spread directing you to five monthly reflection prompts. It's a great chance for you to pause, reflect on your goals, your habits, and identify priorities for the month ahead. Now we'll skip to the back of the planner. So this here is the 2025 memory bank. It is a mini journal designed to capture your highlights and your favorite memories from 2025. There are 27 spaces to hold your favorite memories, but of course you can continue this keepsake on the next page here. Next, we have four blank checklists, which you can use to log books, log movies, log restaurants. You can use it to manage specific projects, create a cleaning checklists, jot down nice to do's, manage your running to-do list, track expenses or bills. The possibilities here are endless. There are no headings, so you can customize this space according to your needs. Next up, we have the 2025 reflection spread. There are about six journaling prompts here to guide your reflection and help you establish some priorities for the year ahead. There are four lined pages following this spread, so plenty of space for you to continue your journal entry if needed. And lastly, there are four dot grid pages. Again, no headings, fully customizable. So there are 13 note pages at the back of your planner in total. One date tracker that shares the same layer as the memory bank, four checklists, four line pages, and four dot grids. Plenty of room to keep everything in one place. 